Okay, single file. One behind the other, guys. Let's go. Well, we want parents to enjoy their children, but I think they'll enjoy their children a lot better if they're actually happy and comfortable within themselves, which is why we provide some services just for the parents. Let's go. So knees up, mobilise those hips and knees. Good, guys. Bringing the knees up in line with those hips. One of the groups which is particularly popular and which is um, actually delivered by a beautician who comes into the centre is called Time For Me and that's all about raising self-esteem and actually giving some time for parents to themselves. Over the previous few weeks we've done quite a lot sort of on our self-esteem and our positive self-image um, and we've looked after our sort of like mind etc and we're going to look at our bodies as well. What are our healthy habits? Housework. Yep, housework. That's going to be quite a good one because that's going to keep you quite fit and active. Any sort of pampering. Yeah, lovely, pampering. And if our budget doesn't include that someone can do that for us, we've now got the skills to do it for ourselves because we've done quite a lot of that, haven't we? Here? Chocolate facials. Every week. Chocolate facials every week, how lovely. Well, I think part of Enjoy and Achieve is about raising aspirations. Uh, raising aspirations of the children themselves and their parents so that they can go on uh, and be quite comfortable and excited about lifelong learning and making sure that their lives and their children's lives are, are good in terms of health and achievement. For example, we run a session called Twin Tracks, which is aimed at 16 to 19 year olds who are parents or expectant parents. Are you doing the GCSE? Are you? Yeah. What do you want to do? Maths and English. Oh, fuck. Yeah. If your babies do start to cry during massage, don't carry on, just stop. And then try again maybe another day. Well, Twin Tracks is all about self-esteem and actually encouraging those young parents to perhaps think about their future in terms of training and employment skills for the future and giving themselves and their children the best possible life. Right, now the children are in the creche and they're being looked after in there, so now we can get on and make some lovely Play-Doh for you to play with your children with. All right, with that, we put one cup of salt. So if you be careful. How much? One cup. That's why it's, you don't uh, let your children eat it, because it is very, very salty. It's not prescriptive, and it's very much based on that idea of uniqueness of a child and of an individual and of a family. And I think what we're doing, actually, is responding to individual need. Um, and there isn't a magic formula or any kind of formula for that. It is very much a gut reaction. You know, what does this particular child need and what does this particular family need?